Welcome everyone. Today we are going to see the basic experiment in the control system lab. That is how we can see the open loop and the closed loop system. As we have the setup here, that is the speed control of the motor. We are going to use the speed control motor to study the open loop and the closed loop system. This is the uh, setup of the uh, speed uh, control unit. As you know, the speed control is a very common requirement in many industrial applications, such as rolling mills, spinning mills, paper factories, etc. So, there are various components in this in this speed control unit. We have a 12 volt motor, a DC motor, that is a 12 volt per magnet DC motor in the system. We have also a slotted aluminum disc. This is the aluminum disc is mounted on the motor shaft, which generates signals for speed measurement. We have also the adjustable eddy current brake so that we can provide the external disturbance on, on the system performance. Also, we can measure the speed over here. For that, we have a slotted disc attached to the motor shaft. We generate 12 pulses every revolution of the shaft for optical interruptions. We have a tacho generator here. As you know, tacho generator is a DC signal proportional to the shaft speed, so it converts frequency into voltage. Let's start the experiment. I will switch on the system. First, we will see the open loop system, how the open loop system will behave. Then we will see the closed loop system. As we have the reference voltage here, then we can see how much is the reference voltage. We can measure the speed here. So I will keep the speed of almost 1200 RPM in the open loop system. Then I will give the break and I will see what will happen to the speed in the open loop system. So first we will set the speed 1200 RPM. This will be in the open loop as well as in the closed loop system. So I will decrease the reference so that this speed will become almost 1200 rpm. Almost it is 1200 rpm right now. You can see a knob is uh, put on this motor that varies from 0 to 5. 0 is that no brake is applied on the motor and 5 is that the maximum brake is applied on the motor. Actually an adjustable eddy current brake is provided to enable the study of the effects of an external disturbance on the system performance. If we want to uh, see what will happen if a disturbance is applied on the motor, what will happen to the system? So that is provided by this brake that varies from 0 to 5. 0 is, uh, means no brake and the 5 means that the brake is maximum. Also you can see I have applied a speed of 1200 RPM that is the constant speed on this motor. So what I will do, I will give some brake. This uh, you can see, this is 0 that means no, no brake is applied. This is the 5, this is the maximum brake is applied. I will apply the brake in the steps and I will see what will happen to the speed. I will not do anything with the input as well as the output. I will just see, give the brake and I will see what will happen to the system. You can see, I will apply the brake. This on the, I have applied step 1. You can see the speed is decreasing. decreasing. And the more I will uh, increase the brake, you can see the speed of the motor will decrease. This is the maximum brake I have applied as you can see the speed has decreased. So you can clearly observe what is happening that in the open loop system the more I am applying the brake the speed gets decreased. That means output is directly dependent on the input. So what now we will do we will see what will happen in the closed loop system. The difference between the open loop and the closed loop system. Same thing I will do in the closed loop system. I will what I will do I will give now the feedback for the techo generator right now i will connect the lead this is the feedback so now the techo generator will give the feedback through this and will come to the summing junction and it will then go to the error amplifier and see the difference and go to the driver circuit motor driver circuit then we will see what will happen to the speed of the motor now it is the closed loop system now i will set again the speed that is to the 1200 rpm and then we will Again, do the same procedure and we will see what will happen to the speed. So, I will keep this speed 1200 RPM. As you can see, the speed is almost 1200 RPM on applying no brake yet. The moment I will apply the brake, you can see what will happen to the speed. This is the uh, closed loop system. As you know, in the closed loop system, the error will get reduced. So we will clearly see the difference between the open loop system and the closed loop system. Uh, I will apply now the brake. I will see what will happen to the speed. As I am applying the brake, the speed will get reduced. But my aim is to keep the speed constant. But you can clearly see the difference in the closed loop and the open loop system. 
you can see as I'm applying the brake, the speed is getting reduced, but not that much as in the open loop system. But to further improve this error, so what we have to do, we have to uh, give the gain amp. As in the forward gain amplifier, the speed signal obtained from the TACO generator is compared with the reference to obtain an error signal. The error is amplified by a calibrated variable gain amplifier that varies from 0 to 100 and then fed back to the driver circuit. So more we increase the gain, our error gets reduced, so the speed remains constant. Now we are going to increase the gain. As I will increase the gain, the speed of the motor will remain constant. So I will give the gain of almost 5. Then I will do the again the same procedure. I will give now the gain of 5. You can see I have applied now the gain and I will see what will happen if I will apply now the brake. Uh, yet I haven't applied the brake. The speed is 1200 rpm. Now I will apply the brake. The step 1. You can see the speed. Step 2, step 3, step... You can see the speed has not decreased so much. The error has got reduced. You can see clearly. Again, if I will increase more gain, we will get the less error. The steady state error is getting improved. Again, I will increase the gain. I will keep the gain of almost 10 now. You can see I have increased the gain. Now clearly, because I have increased the gain, you can see I haven't given any brake or external disturbance. The speed is 1200. Now, if I will give the external disturbance here, I will give the maximum external disturbance. The speed hasn't got decreased. It's almost constant. So clearly, by increasing the gain, the speed remains constant. So this is the difference between the open loop and the closed loop system. Now, we will see the gain is almost 100. As you have seen, I have applied the brake. This is uh, the speed has remains almost constant. Same thing we will see on the open loop system. I will remove this feedback and I will keep the speed of almost 1200 RPM. As you can see now in the open loop system, I have set the speed of almost 1200 RPM. Now, as uh, the gain is almost 10, now I will apply the brake and I will see what will happen to the speed. I will apply the brake, you can see the speed is getting decreased. You can see clearly the speed has got de decreased. You can see the percentage of error, the almost 40% speed has got decreased. So at the same time, closed loop system, there was not much difference, the speed has remained constant. So this is clearly you can see the difference between the open loop and the closed loop system. Thank you very much.